Hi, I'm Caitlin, and I'm here for Inner Speaker Magazine, and we're here with the Mumsies. Madison Orr, 18. Sam McKinley, 16. I'm Sam Talley, I'm 20. Logan, 19. <laughs> Listening to music, I guess. I don't know, early. Pre-existence and making music, probably like, I don't know, the ninth grade. I wrote really shitty poems in eighth grade. Like, really shitty, like, yeah, like, uh, no, they were like love poems to myself. It was pathetic. Then in ninth grade, I picked up the guitar and added GCD to it, so that's for me. Well, you know, I started listening to music in ninth grade with Madison. And there's a virgin. Avenged Sevenfold was my shit, dude. So was Megadeth. But I still don't like the Beatles. My cousin used to bring over music to my house and stuff, like good Charlotte CDs and crap like that. And I started listening to it. I was like, whatever, I'll be in a band. I got into Marilyn Manson. And then I met Madison and Sam, and we just made music together. I don't know. Mine sucks. Uh, music has always been my life. Um... <laughs> say probably Nirvana is always my favorite yeah Nirvana is my and Jimi Hendrix is my first rock star learned about him because I took guitar lessons for a little while you know they generic shit they make you learn I guess that's it ICP and I listened to Kiss that's how I started drumming I'm a massive Kiss fan but Nirvana really gave me my start to drumming and playing music because Nirvana fucking rocks. Uh, I don't know. My mom used to listen to Jimi Hendrix and Eric Clapton vinyls when I was a lot younger. So I guess I was like one of my first introductions to rock and roll. And I was really into this Alice in Chains album when I was in like seventh grade, but I can't remember which one it was. It's like, um, it's the last one with Lane on it. it. Had Rooster or whatever on it. I was really into that. And so this just went from there. I uh, started playing keyboard, and I don't know how to play the piano. But Ty Seagal, I guess, made me want to be better at guitar. <laughs> Same question, but... No, that's different. Uh, probably right now, Coach Whips, anything John Dwyer, pink and brown, really progressive and violent. I listen to this band called The Nervous Ticks a lot. And they're, uh, they're kind of like the OCs if they were more southern and uh, a lot angrier, more violent or badass. And uh, the Stooges, of course, is definitely a huge one. And Gigi Allen, early Gigi Allen, king of everything. It's badass. I mean, it's the best. Well, Tassigal has really influenced me a lot. And um, Tassigal and Coach Whips, anything John Dwyer, really. I, I, early Gigi Allen, too, and the Stooges. Everybody likes the Stooges. Um, I like MC5 a lot, and Fiddler was a good, a good old band. But, oh yeah, the Velvet Underground too. They're they're amazing too. And um, Death Grips was Zach Hill. Zach Hill is uh, becoming a major influence of mine. Other than you know, you know Jesus and Jack White. Jack White's another one and. It really. Uh, I mean, I'm kind of embarrassed to say, but I recently got into the Flaming Lips. I have like, I own like all the records now. I love them. And love, yeah, that is kind of embarrassing. I should have got into them a long time ago. I have uh, I'm into Deer Hunter right now. Black Lips, Ty Seagal, uh, Mazzy Star, just everything really, I guess. Um, the Black Lips and uh, Sonic Youth. And uh, yeah, the Velvet Underground. Last record. Let's see. What was the last record I bought? 
God, I gotta think. Oh, I know what it was. I bought like vinyl or CD or anything. anything. Oh, anything. Okay. Probably Stooges, Funhouse, and David Bowie, Aladdin Zane. My most recent records. Bought an Elvis record about three or four days ago. And uh, Percy Sledge, I think, I think I bought a Percy Sledge one when I bought that one too. And a Nat King Cole record. And uh, I bought Burning of Buddy, a Buddy Rich tribute album. It's, it's pretty good. Uh, the last record I bought that literally came to my house yesterday was Good Kid, Mad City by Kendrick Lamar. <laughs> The last record I bought was, um, shit, what is it? No, it was that Granddaddy album, and then before that, it was Attica Basement, and then, that's All right, well, really, as far as, since we're more based in Chattanooga than Atlanta, our favorite locals right now I recently discovered through our newest EP single thing would be uh, this guy named Tommy, 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 I don't know if I fucking pronounce his name, Crimson. He makes like really like fucking cracked out, super over psychedelic like garage rock. It's the best shit I've ever heard in my life. I'm hoping to collaborate with him. And uh, there's this band called Gorgeous. They're a really good shoegazer band. We play with them Sunday. And uh, I've never met them or anything, but we got mentioned on this Reddit article with all these other cool, like, psych bands, and there's this one called uh, Goth Party You're Not Invited, and I thought they were really badass. And uh, we're really good friends with Dag Nation and the Space Cats. They're really good. There's this band called The Social Network. They're pretty good. Um, I've, been, I've been really into Gateway to Nowhere lately. And, um, you know, they're pretty good. They're more of a uh, grungy top band. Um, oh, yeah. Um, also, uh, Cosmoscope is slowly becoming one of my favorites, too. Uh, Lee Jennings is just There's such a nice guy. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I'm very disappointed not to see Cosmoscope here tonight. I know they had a – I think they are playing at the Deli today or some other house show. But Cosmoscope is probably my favorite local band. I guess my favorite local band's – I had I was gonna say Dag Nation and I had this other one in my head. Fucking hey, what was it, man? I was sitting there thinking about it. Fuck, dude, I was in I was had Dag Nation, and there was one more. I swear to God. Dude, okay, yeah, Delphinium too. Even though they're not a band, but there was one more. I it's gonna come to me as soon as I pass this mic away. Let me think. Oh, yeah, Delphinium, Dagnation, and honestly, I can't think of the other one. It'll come back to me. Delphinium, uh, the Space Cats, and the Ostentatious Zombies. We recorded it in Nashville at uh, SAE, the college, but uh, we met this guy who played at this really shitty show called... Uh, it was like the Battle of the Bands at uh, this place called Rocket Town in Nashville. Stupid. Never pay to play. Anyway, and uh, we didn't even come close to winning, but the guy who was giving away, they had like a prize to uh, record at SAE if you won. And we didn't win, but he, we gave him our CD, which sucked at the time, and somehow he still wanted to record us, so we drove up there and we recorded an EP, and Guts is included in that. His name's Kevin White. He's like, Produced it and he's badass. He's the best. So. Guts was inspired by Asian philosophy, and um, it was um, definitely. I was listening to uh, Dave Grohl when I, you know, came up with the drum part, a little bit of Zach Hill. But yeah, it's. Uh, the only thing I have to say about Guts is the show, the show we played at Rocket Town before we like met Kevin. We had a really shitty demo CD, like like Madison was saying, with the four songs on it. And as we were leaving, uh, Haley Williams' mom, I've been waiting to tell this story for so long, she was one of the judges there, like fucking from Paramore. 
which is like you know awful but anyways she came around the corner as i was going back to the stage and i was like are you Haley williams mom and she was like yeah and i was like here's our demo cd you know if you just want to whatever you know just to say i did it and then as she was going out the back door to her car she threw it in the garbage and i knew it was ours because i walked over there to find it and it was on the ground and then she got in her car and left so Haley williams mom threw away our old demo before we went and recorded this ep so there you go fuck paramore I think it's the worst song we've ever written. Well, either the Nervous Ticks or I heard the Coach Rips are having a reunion tour thing. And uh, even though they'd probably think we're a fucking ripoff or something, I would love to fucking open for the Coach Rips. That'd be the greatest thing of all time. John Dwyer is gone. I would love to open for... Cage the Elephant, probably. I'm probably in my dream band open for right now. Really into them lately. My dream band to open up for would probably be Vanilla Ice or Amy Winehouse. The Black Lips. Okay, those are all the questions I have. So. You have to ask about my favorite cereal. Okay, what's your favorite cereal, Madison? Honey Nut Cheerios. It's good for your cholesterol. You can put sugar on them, and it's like double good, and it's still good for your heart. Well, fuck Honey Nut Cheerios, first of all. Um, my favorite cereal would probably... Oops, Only Berries by Captain Crunch. It's only the berries of Captain Crunch, and it's so much better than... Let, let me tell you. Every time... I eat oops all berries. I become two percent closer to becoming a diabetic because it, it has like a thousand calories per bowl. I think my favorite cereal is the shitty Save a Lot off brand of Fruit Loops. It's called Fruit O's, and it's exactly like Fruit Loops, but they just try to. Yeah, it's like a big ass bag, and it, like you can only eat one bowl before it's completely fucking stale, and that would be my favorite cereal. Thank you. This is the Mumsies, and their EP is coming out when? Uh, at a time and, you know, sometime. Uh, maybe next month. We're not sure. Probably really, really soon.